we're here at Whole Foods and there was no skincare routine this morning because we had a bit of a emergency early, early this morning. My mom, you wanna tell them what happened to you? Well, I woke up at 3 a.m. with a, what I would call severe nosebleed. I have never had that happen before. Yeah. But it was just gushing, and not to get too graphic. Yeah. And so I thought, well, okay, I'll toddle into the bathroom and take care of this, and I'll be okay. And it kept going on and on, and I got a little scared, because, you know, I'm there by myself. Yeah. So I thought, I'm going to call Dr. Daughter Dre. <laughs> and um, sure enough, I called her, and she talked me through um, over the speaker phone what I needed to do. Instructions to the letter, um, and then she came over. Um, and she stopped at the store and got me some supplies. Yeah. Uh, first, I went to the CVS that I always go to. They were closed. Then I went to Walgreens. They were closed. So then I went to Kroger, and they were just about to open. And they, I was standing outside, and so I was able to get what I needed there. But yeah, that's scary. I've had nosebleeds my entire life. Really just like that and so I totally relate uh, but you've never had them before I've had you know like a minor yeah. nosebleed yeah. where you know you just squeeze your nose and it stops but never anything like this yeah. which is, I started to get a little scared it's scary it's really um, scary it's happened to me several times and it's really scary um, I think you know what I think it was we were down over in Galveston and they have some kind of arrow allergen there Triggers no, has triggered a nosebleed for me in the past. I think it's just the allergies or something. And then the humidity here doesn't like facilitate the clotting as rapidly. Um, because when we lived in Colorado and it's super dry in Colorado, if I would get a nosebleed, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't have time to bleed because the air was so dry, it would just dry right away and, and be done. But here, the, it's so humid that it's just it just opens the floodgates. It's yeah, terrible. I hope that's not TMI for you guys. Too. Yeah. Anyway, we were taking care of that this morning, so it's it's awfully nice to have your daughter close by. Yeah. So I did put my sunscreen on before I left, and then you guys saw me put it on just now. So that's that. But anyway, back to the good stuff. We're Let's here at Whole Foods. Breakfast. What'd you get this morning? Um, I went with the um, the sweet potato shred. Yeah. Thing. Oh, the squash and, shreds? Yeah, yeah, in the bottom I have quinoa. Uh -huh. And then I topped it off with uh, hash brown. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, I got, um, on, on the bottom is like a little bit of uh, shredded squash that my mom got as well. And quinoa, blueberries, strawberries, and then their, uh, this magical uh, slaw they have here that I'm in love with. It's like red cabbage, pomegranate, and apples, but it's tangy, and um, I topped it with some turmeric, so. Oh, and some slivered almonds, so. Walgreens really quickly, because I need some dental floss. This is 2% salicylic acid, yeah. which seems to be the same as this in the psoriasis Exactly. Form. The difference is, is that the, the CeraVe one is marketed to people with psoriasis because CeraVe doesn't do acne. They don't have acne oh. marketing. They, they, so they've got to, to jump on another disease in which, skin disease in which 2% salicylic acid is also useful for, which is psoriasis. The 2% salicylic acid cream that they have, the CeraVe um, psoriasis cream, I bet people will put that on their face and it will be bad news bears. <laughs> because it's, you know, people won't be used to it. They'll leave it on their face, it'll be highly irritating, they'll get it around their eyes. It's bad news bears. But, um, yeah, I was just showing my mom how basically, I mean, it's all variants of 2% salicylic acid, guys. Like, look at the active ingredient. This is the one I was pointing out in Walmart the other day, though, that I'm, I, I think I would like to try sometime. The Acne Proofing Gel Cleanser. It's a 2% salicylic acid uh, gel. The vehicle here is a little different. It's a gel, so it's less watery. Um, and it probably is a little bit more moisturizing, um, or feels a little bit more moisturizing than their traditional oil-free acne wash. But look how much more expensive it is. $7.49 versus $9.49. Gel, gel vehicles are always more expensive. So we decided to go on a walk. It's a little bit cooler outside, doubled up. I'm wearing my mom's 
cat hoodie underneath my hoodie. <laughs> um, and I forgot my Siggy hat. I was in such a rush this morning. I don't you have it. You could have grabbed my hat. Uh, it's okay, yeah. So I reapplied my sunscreen. Hopefully I don't. I'll be okay. <laughs> How's your nose? Any problems? Oh. No, so far so good. So far so good? I hope that was the one and only episode of that I'm here to experience. Yeah, that's, that's really oh. annoying when that happens. It always happens to me at the most inco uh, inconvenient times. Like, right when I'm going out uh, for my day, leaving the house, is when my nose decides to bleed and make me late. <laughs> so we decided to come over here to Target, and we're just looking, even though it doesn't seem like the right season, but hey, aren't these bathing suits cute they have here? I really like that top, it's really cute. I've had bathing suits from Target before by this exhilaration brand, they're pretty good. Admittedly, I don't go out by the pool in a bathing suit that much, but. If I did, I like that. Like, yeah. like this? It's, yeah. oh, I, like, I think this one's cute. But, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> they just look like they'd be, uh, yeah. they'd be good. I don't know. Yeah, they do. Bathing suits can be so expensive. <laughs> They're sort of hit or miss, but I find the ones at Target are pretty decent. Mm. Yeah, February is a big time for people to take to tropical vacations. Yeah, especially from the Northeast. Mm -hmm. They've had about enough at that yeah. point. It's like, I need some sand between mm -hmm. my toes. <laughs> Allie Sedalis came into Target the other day in her vlog, and she commented on how soft these are, and they really are. Um, and I agree with her, though. I don't, I don't care for these things. It's not really my style. Why can't we just make graphicless tees? <laughs> <laughs> you know, in gray. <laughs> but these are really soft, fifth and sun. My mom just summoned me over here. Oh, those are cute, but it's a zipper. Yeah, oh, that's right. You said no zipper. Yeah. This Look one. How cozy and cozy. Are they really soft? Yeah. It's like the juicy couture ones. Mm -hmm. Remember, you had a juicy couture I had two of suit those, or something. Actually. This one looks cute. It's gray. Yeah, and the, it is. the scoop is scoopy enough. That I have plenty of those. Part of a <laughs> that one I like. Actually, that one's perfect. How much is that? Uh, let's see. It is. Yeah, it's got 20. this. Twenty. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, that's a cute one. And then you got your bottoms with the strippy stripe. I need bottom pants more than anything right now. I feel oh. as though I have a hard time with the pants, the pants thing. We're over in the bullseye section. And that is cute. It's a little cling inside and vinyl right cling there. play set. Huh, that's cute. You could set that up for decoration. This road trip. sketch pad is nice for doodling and ideas. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You can have a snowball fight. Yeah. When we put the tree in. Some Texas snowball fight. Yeah. <laughs> little bowls. Well, those Star, are nice. Yeah, but I need to let Milo go. Don't I? No, never let me go. Yeah, Chip and Joanna have infiltrated Target with their hearth and home. That's kind of neat. Little house. Bookshelves. Shelves and tables, what have you. Erica did this with the plate and then this underneath. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I like that. I it's tasteful. This morning. It's cute. I wonder how their candles are. Balsam and spice. Mm, it's nice. It's not quite Tuscan candle, but it's nice. Nice mug. Morning beautiful. This would be a cute housewarming gift. It's a little set of measuring cups, aren't they? Oh, those sweet? are nice. And it's only ten dollars. Yeah, it's not, not too, too bad, bad. no. But that is nice. Welcome to the welcome to the home. Of course they've got wrapping paper too. They have a dough ball. Oh, I need to get that so I can put my curl stitch in it. A dough ball? Mm-hmm. Gosh, guys, look at this. <laughs> they have a dollhouse. <laughs> it's 
says it comes with uh, yeah, look, furniture. furniture. Oh, wow. That actually looks pretty nice for a child. That's very nice. And they've got these little nesting houses there. That's fluffy. Awful stuff. That's another thing Miss er Mrs. Erica got. What? I think she got this for her work bag. Uh -huh. And then um, this to go with. Oh, that's smart. And what else did she get? Oh, a little a, t a book for her for her desk. Tablet. Smart. A, f a portfolio. You like her channel, Miss well, Erica? Yes, I do like yeah, her. Yeah, she's got she's, she's a very so nice southern sweet lady. And yeah. Positive. Yeah. They also have this little workbench set <laughs> and this little fake hot cocoa set. These are kind of really cute, neat little toys yeah, they I came up with. This. Yeah, it's the fixer upper group. They kind of. So I'm really getting frustrated with my like rigid desk situation in the apartment. And I was talking to my mom that I kind of want to get a small desk to just have out in my living room uh, to have a workspace that's just a little bit more comfortable. And I don't need, you know, I'm kind of a minimalist. I really just need a, a surface. But I like this desk because, um, although it's probably rickety, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it has the power strip in there. What do you guys think? The lowering desk? Um, I don't know. It'd, it'd be really subtle there, don't you think? Yes. Yeah, I like and that is one. Is this the same color as your bar stools, more or less? No, my bar stools are darker stained than this. And but then, um, the other option is this one. I like this here. one too. Yeah. The Paolo. They're admittedly kind of hard to see under here, but I think it'd be subtle enough that you wouldn't really, it wouldn't take up the whole room. I don't like big conking pieces of furniture. It'd make me feel claustrophobic. <laughs> I like these. What do you think? I like it. What is this one? Just a plain Parsons? Is that that one that's over there? No? Yeah, that's the wood stand I don't care for. It's a lot unsightly. The mahogany veneer, lacquer finish. Um, the writing desk. Pull, can it, you pull this one out? I like can, can that. You pull it? I think, yeah, this is it in here. But um, then when we saw that one, I prefer the one with the rod on it. Although it's nice, with your though. chair, this See? would look good. Yeah, I think so. In your walls. A writing desk. I think so. Darker gray. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's subtle. Paolo. Do you remember that like friends? Rachel dated a Paolo. Can come back and pick it up. I think I try and get it online. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to deal with people. They have some candles on clearance over here. Pumpkin spice. Let's gather. Let's face it, unfortunately, Thanksgiving stuff just doesn't sell. Isn't that sad? Yeah, it's the forgotten holiday. <laughs> the, the holiday of grace, uh, of gratitude. It's just, <laughs> there's no commercialism in that. Grateful. There's no commercialism in that. You know what I need help with, honey? What's that? My desk surface. I, just, I don't know what to do with it. It looks nice the way you've got it. Yeah, but it needs something in the back, like something, I don't know. Camera. The Target has poopery now. Let's see. Chesapeake Bay. Mm. It's no Tuscany candle. And it's $10. That's it. Target candles are, are pretty good. I good. saw these. I think they're cute. Oh, look. Is there a little similar to the Whole Foods one? <laughs> oh, give that a sniff. Oh, I wonder if they have... Yeah, it smells... It smells caramely. I wanted to sniff. Oh, yeah. You want a sniff? 
Oh yeah, it smells like food. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if they have that caramel yogi tea that would really Let's go check it out. Let's go see. Um, what's over there? Uh, dog pet pet thing? Um, I think so, yeah. Well, guys, it's uh, lunch time. We're having the rest of my mom's, uh, some of the soup she had. I made a big salad bowl here. I just took an entire head of romaine because that's how I am. <laughs> Leave no romaine leaf unloved. Um, and then I, I actually just topped it with some of the pea soup cold because I, I kind of like it that way. And then my mom made some more. This is your lentil pumpkin pasta. I did give that another go. It's the um, it, pumpkin garlic. Yeah. And then with the lentil pasta, yeah. the penne pasta. And you use coconut milk? Yeah. And in the sauce? Coconut milk in the sauce. Yeah, it looks really bit. good. And this is uh, uh, lentil pasta? Or just regular? Pasta. No, it's the lentil pasta. The red lentil pasta. Uh, Target some Yeah. Pasta. Oh yeah, it looks Target. good. It looks better than the black bean yeah, one. Yeah. I was embarrassed about the black and bean. Some Thank nutritional you guys yeast. No comment. I thought it tasted good. Um, and then I also have some wasabi peas on there. Oh, and then my mom made. Um, she just took some black beans. I, this is just a little bit I want to try. Some black beans and some cauliflower rice and what paste picante salsa and you steamed them all together. Mm, and, yeah, and there's onion and garlic that I cooked oh. in the uh, just the dry saute. Oh yeah. No oil. Oh cool. And yeah, mix it together and that's it. Yeah, and you're having a or just the, the soup. soup redo redo on the soup. Yeah, the soup's the really good. Salad. I had a little yeah. taste of the soup. And it's in, the flavors have gotten a little so better. Amazing. Yeah, since I mean it was great yesterday. So we're gonna have that, and then we're probably gonna fire up um, my favorite here: planes, trains, and automobiles with um, Steve Martin and John Candy. You like them? Oh too, gosh, right? I love that movie. That's yeah, funny. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Do you remember when I was uh, little and you took me to see? Um, I wasn't allowed to see something like this when I was a child because of the F bomb, but. You took me to see uh, The Great Outdoors with John Candy, and I thought the scene where they shoot the bear in the rear end, which so, is the funniest thing yeah. as a child. <laughs> was that the time where you ate too much popcorn? Yes, that was the first time, well, so I had never had popcorn, movie theater popcorn before, and um, you know, I, we didn't eat a lot of stuff like that. And my mom got me a thing of popcorn, and I was like, oh, this is so good. And I went <laughs> ham on it as a little girl. I, I didn't know what I was getting into, and I got so sick. <laughs> it made me really sick and and to this sense, day. Then, you'll always say, I don't like butter popcorn. Yeah, this, I can't even stomach the smell. You know, sometimes when you go on Target by the food court, it smells like butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just... <laughs> uh, I think that some people you know, go in Target just to get the popcorn. Yeah, yeah. See, I can't. It's not popcorn. It's it's movie theater, but that buttered popcorn. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I knew someone mm -hmm. who would go to the movie theater, uh -huh. go into the movie theater, and just get the popcorn, and then exit and not see the movie. Yeah, and not pay. Just say, I'm going into the snack counter. Oh yeah. And um, they would get a big thing of the movie I don't popcorn. Think I would either. Yeah. yeah, that's something. At least I got. But that stuff is addictive. Not, it's, I, it's to me. Some people have this experience with certain types of liquor. I believe, like tequila, oh, yeah. for example. Buttered popcorn from the movie theater was my my tequila as a child. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower. I had a great uh, day with my mom. I'm really hopeful that her nosebleed doesn't kick up again tonight because I personally know from experience how incredibly distressing that can be. Um, but I just uh, got out of the shower after the gym and I wanted to come back um, to what I mentioned um, in Walgreens about the CeraVe um, salicylic acid psoriasis cream. And I also, I think I mentioned it as well in my um, Walmart review, which you guys seem to, to enjoy that video. Um, but uh, I think what I said in, in, um, in, the, in Walgreens was that if somebody puts this on the face, it, it could be bad news bears. So I just wanna clarify what I meant about that. I think that product is really, really awesome. Sounds really, really awesome, okay? I think it has the potential. I'm talking about the CeraVe Psoriasis Cream, which is a salicylic acid 
thick moisturizing cream with ceramides in it. I think, knowing CeraVe, this is an awesome product and I'm really, really stoked that they came out, of it, came out with it. I think they're marketing to the right demographic. People with psoriasis could really, really benefit from a cream like that um, to thick plaques on the body. And if, if uh, advised by the treating dermatologist, particular plaques on the face, potentially, okay? Um, but where I, um, worry for CeraVe, we'll just say, is, um, you know, just in my experience with interacting with you guys here in the comments, I worry that they will fall down the same rabbit hole with this cream that they did with the CeraVe Renewing SA cream, okay, um, which I have here. This is another salicylic acid cream that they have um, that is fantastic. But when I first started my channel, a lot of you guys were commenting that you were putting this on your face as a nighttime moisturizer. Because um, you heard, you know, that CeraVe on the face is great as a nighttime moisturizer. While the CeraVe moisturizing cream left on the face is fantastic in that way, this one has salicylic acid or BHA in it. And when left on the face in, o overnight for that prolonged amount of time, particularly in people who are not, who are naive to salicylic acid, like you don't use it on a regular basis, it's going to cause quite a bit of peeling and irritation. And if you get it around your eyes, it can be really, really problematic. I've gotten comments before, oh, my eyes swelled shut as a result of that. Yeah, I mean, salicylic acid um, can be a really, really um, irritating around the eyes because the skin there is just really, really thin, okay? I worry, you know, that people will fall down that same rabbit hole and that they'll see it's in the tub and they'll be like, oh, you know, this says that it exfoliates the skin and people will start putting it on their face. That is is what I worry about. It really only requires a short contact time to be effective for like acne and for lightly peeling the skin. Uh, and in a wash form, it does that very, very well. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I feel like we got a lot done. I don't know. I had a good time with my mom, so... Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!